How'd you feel to totally not be able to see it in a Terrence and Phillip movie? You've placed the man sensor and the bear sensor. Once the pig sensor is in place, we can triangulate his exact position. Come back when all the sensors are in place. Excelsior! Welcome to Tweet Coffee. Coffee made with ingredients supplied by local organic suppliers. It's local coffee, brewed locally. Tweak? Tweak! <laughs> Have you picked up the fresh local ingredients? Uh, not yet, Dad. I'm still trying to do all my chores. Well, hurry up, son. The family business is relying on you. <laughs> can you keep a secret? Neither can I. You should try some coffee. It gives you that edge you need to stay focused at school. for Tweak, he's in the back room, unattended. Unattended, like a pristine meadow known only to the wild horses that graze there. Would you like to try some coffee? It's fresh, like a sun-dappled cornfield, ready for harvest. You know, here at Tweak Brothers, we believe in using homegrown labor. That's why our son toils in the back all day. Sure, we could hire workers, but I guess we just care a little more. Which of our local coffees would you like to try? My frost giant is invisible. My frost giant is invisible. You have slain the mighty frost giant. I stand in awe of you, hero. I continue to admire your awesomeness. Welcome to the neighborhood. Hey, if you ever want to sue anybody, you can come to me first, okay? You ever wonder what it'd be like to be a dolphin? Just doing flips, eating fish, not a care in the world? Hey, if you ever want to sue anybody, you can come to me first, okay? Well, this is Stan's house, but he isn't here right now. Hey guys, grab a beer and join me for Sports Center. Oh, uh, Stan's out playing that game too. I wanted to come, but he wouldn't let me, so I'm drinking beer instead. Hey guys, grab a beer and join me for Sports Center. Oh, uh, Stan's out playing that game too. I wanted to come, but he wouldn't let me, so I'm drinking beer instead. I'm sure he'd give you his underwear if you just asked. I'm never coming out. I'm never coming out. Who the fuck are you? 
I'm gonna kill you, turd! Stand there, it takes, it takes big shits. Well, this is Stan's house, but he isn't here right now. What? Oh, this isn't for me. This is for the nice people who are renting the guest house out in the back. I told you to go see the nice people renting the room behind the garage. Yeah, yeah, we got the package for Tweet Coffee. You got the envelope? Uh, these witch doctors must be cooking up a secret potion. Wonder if it's a healing potion. Hey, that's not the usual kid that picks up the package. Huh? Oh, shit. It's a kip! Ah, oh, shit, when are we gonna catch a break? Maybe Santa's. about you. She thinks you're cute. My sister Kenny doesn't need protecting, but watch out for her anyway. My sister Kenny doesn't need protecting, but watch out for her anyway.
been moved since the murder. Look at the forensic evidence around the closet. I don't see anything. Sorry to hear about the renters. Usually they're real fun and energetic. If you see Kenny, tell him to pick up some dinner on his way home. Not them fancy toaster strudels, though. Just regular Pop-Tarts. If you see Kenny, tell him to pick up some dinner on his way home. Not them fancy toaster strudels, though. Just regular Pop-Tarts. Ow. I've killed way bigger guys than you. Well, the new kid has. Oh! By the hammer of butters! That was the most perfect throw I've ever seen. Nice. Good job, Junior Algorian! With all the sensors in place, I can get a reading on my... <gasps> I knew it! These are definitely hot Manbear Pig readings! Come with me. I must put this data in the Data Manbear Pig Base. Interesting. The sensors have picked up Manbear Pig underneath the ground of South Park. If you know anywhere you can get underground, go there at once and run this defilibrator. Back again, Junior Algorian? Have you found somewhere in the sewers to put the defilibrator? Back again, Junior Algorian? Have you found somewhere in the sewers to put the defilibrator? your ass learn such incredible magic so easily. Manbear Pig, he's here! <laughs> Manbear Pig, he's here! <laughs> you have 
ripped the mighty chaos of Earth. And now the Earth shall be destroyed in ten seconds. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Go! And now all these lights and electrical equipment you see are on and will never be turned off. Draining the Earth's entire power supply and plunging humanity into a deep cold darkness. Without lights or heat or computers or power, humans will be left to fend for themselves against the beasts and the elements. Humanity be damned! <laughs> No reason to break his nice evil genius things. Dougie spoke of you and says you'd make a worthy ally. Professor Chaos left me here to keep changing the light bulbs until the Earth's energy supply is drained. Professor Chaos left me here to keep changing the light bulbs until the Earth's energy supply is drained. Well, we must have stumbled upon the secret and cool air of a super evil, super cool, super genius. Your city walk serving monk. You did it! You got the pickup! Oh, thanks, man. Dad, I finished my work. Can I go play? Where's today's delivery? Right here. Hmm. Yep. That's good shit. All right, Tweak. You can play for a little bit, but be home before dark, or you'll be grounded. Grounded. Like the fresh grinds of our all-organic tweak blend, made with ingredients from local tweakers. Thanks, kid. I gotta go get changed, and then I'll meet you at the kingdom. You should try some coffee. It gives you that edge you need to stay focused at school. Welcome to my coffee shop. Thanks for helping Tweak out in the back room. Would you like to try some coffee? It's fresh, like a sun-dappled cornfield, ready for harvest. This is a gated community, sir. We do not allow in the riffraff. Move along, sir. If you try again, I will pepper spray you back to the Stone Age. One time gave me the grossest wet willy right here. I couldn't decide where to hide. Jimbo and Ned. Well, what brings you here today? Business or pleasure? Or vengeance? Vengeance! You've come to the right place. You remind me of a guy I served with in Nam. Remember, you can legally kill anything in self-defense. Do you need to borrow my voice box? You remind me of a guy I served with in Nam.
Howdy there. Haven't seen you before. You must be the new kid that moved to town. And you're into hunting, huh? Well, my boy, you've come to the right place. South Park is chock full of things to shoot that would delight any taxidermist, survivalist, or weekend animal death enthusiast. Ain't much I can sell to a miner, thanks to the stupid Democrats. But, but if you could prove yourself a real hunter, I might be able to get you some better stuff. You should buy a copy of The Hunter's Guide to South Park Wildlife, th this book thingy here. kill anything in that guide, you come back and see old Jimbo and Ned. The best part of hunting is bragging about it to other hunters. What can I do for you, new kid? Shot and killed any of them animals in the wildlife guide? I'll make it worth your while. What can I do for you, new kid? I warn you, sir, I have five years training at the mall. Move along, sir. What the fuck? Oh, no! Ah, shit! Learn such incredible magic so easily. Maybe you should see Ow. a doctor. Oh! Yeah. Can I help you? What's this? Oh, the elf stick the stick again? Hang on a second. Thank you for thy message, traveler. I shall make haste to Koopa Keep. Mom, can you drive me to Eric's house? Move along, sir. I can't look at you without feelings of deep personal shame.
goddamn Mongolians. Hello, welcome to Shitty Walk. Take all the prayers. Only thing we're serving today is a Mongolian beef. Mongolian beef, so good. Oh, I just love it. Oh, hello, Mongolian. Shh. Mongolians are watching. They conquered me last week. Act natural. Oh, yeah, Mongolian beef. Mmm, so tasty, right? Wow. It's not tasty at all. It's gross. Don't eat it. You eat a Mongolian beef, you shit your pants for five days. All right, Mongolian. Please, you gotta help me out. The Mongolians all live like rats in the tower of a piece next door. I'll keep the adults occupied here. You go top a tower and beat up all their kids. Beat up all the Mongolian kids. Then Mongolian think this neighborhood not a safe place. They move away. Go, go, beat up the little Mongolian kids. Oh, hello, Mongolian. Mongolian beef smell like a Rhino Richie's asshole. Excuse me. Hey, no fighting in here. Hey, no fighting in here. Door puzzle. She brought such band. The mark picked it so
hope we don't get in trouble for this. Sometimes my dad goes on road trips just to check out all the rest stops. Leave us alone! Take that! Well, not being grounded was nice while it lasted. No, 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 no. <laughs> There you go, kid. All this shitty chicken you can carry. You do good work. I'll help you fuck up Mongolians anytime you want. Not bosses, though. They too tough. You call me with this. I give you one per day. Sorry, you can only summon me once per day. Or else who gonna sell the shitty beef? Come back tomorrow. What? Oh, hey, I guess I hit it a little hard at the bar this morning. Thanks for waking me up, kid. You on Facebook? Shit, I gotta get to work. Shit, I gotta get to work.
Well, well, you supposed to be some kind of night of the round table? Welcome to ye old Skeeter's Tavern. Tell you what, good sir knight, I got rats in the basement. Big uns. That's why I got stuck with her majesty's goddamn health code violation. You think you're a real dungeon dweller? Then go clear out them rats out of my basement. Well, what are you waiting for? Make fucking haste. You kill any of them rats yet? You kill any of them rats yet? Shot, and that's all Jesus asks of you. Damn if you ain't a noble knight after all. All right, kid, here you go. Good to see you too, Butters. Thanks for checking in. Welcome to the Bank of South Park. Would you like to invest money with us today? Wise move, young man, and a bold first step towards your financial future. We'll just take that money and employ significant leverage using computer-assisted high-frequency trading and index fund rebalancing to buy ahead of certain stock movements, and it's got! Welcome to the Bank of South Park. Would you like to invest money with us today? A smart choice, kid. First thing we'll do is take that money and invest in a Colorado tax-free municipal bond fund and then give the dividend to my buddy at Goldman Sachs, who'll give it to his buddy at J.P. Morgan, who has a LIBOR-adjusted cross-currency obligation, and it's got! Welcome to the Bank of South Park. Would you like to invest money with us today? You're obviously an experienced and sophisticated investor, so let's just take that money and put it into a secure and qualified account, and it's got! What the heck? I'm gonna get grounded anyway, you might as well. Sorry. Hey, 
You gave it your best shot, and that's all Jesus asks of you. What can I do for you, new kid? Nice work! I remember when I bagged my first dog. I can't wait to see what you kill next! What can I do for you, new kid? This was real personal for me and Ned. Well, we lost half our unit to a farm cow when we were stationed in Hanoi. Far as we're concerned, you're a damn hero, kid. We're both proud to know you. I have no words. I can't wait to see what you kill next. Hey, you're getting popular. I need to get in on that. Well, there's a professor of astrophysics, that's a professor of neurobiology, but well, that one's a lawyer, I think. He said he went to Oxford. Wanna play rough, huh? Ooh. Oh! We will kill them with compassion! Faster at Facebook messaging than I to am get at the speaking. Stick of truth, we must Here, recruit the this warriors. Will just go a lot faster if I friend you. Once I get beat up behind that house. Are you new? Hey, that means you don't know anything about me, huh? Don't, uh, don't believe everything you read on Facebook, okay? Don't, uh, don't believe everything you read on Facebook, okay?
spring is on the way. Such a fun and inspiring time to decorate. Just like most women out there, I've really gotten into queefing lately. There's a lot of fun and interesting ways we can decorate our queefs and just make them more dynamic for the holidays. Greetings, human. While I would prefer to explore strange worlds with you, it is illogical to abandon the bridge until the captain returns. The captain is my mob. I, I can't go outside when she's not home. But the Federation has an urgent mission for you. A tricorder was left behind on the frozen planet of Hoth. Only it's not a tricorder, it's my dad's iPad too. I need you to beam down to the Omicron sector and locate that device before it falls into Klingon hands. I think it fell out of my backpack near the church. The Federation is counting on you to find that tricorder. The Federation is counting on you to find that tricorder. Well done. The galaxy is in your debt. Let it be known that I have been, and will always be, your friend, on Facebook. Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper. Looking for Craig? Well, he can't play. He's in detention. Something about flipping off the principal. Oh no! Craig's in jail! We gotta go tell the Grand Wizard! Well, oh, soldiers, report in for duty, Grand Wizard! Nice work, douchebag. Now all my men are here and ready to fight for the- Wait a minute. Where's Feldspar? Where's my level 12 thief? Uh, hey, yeah, where's Craig? He's in detention. What? He flipped off the principal, so he's in detention again! Oh my god. If they've locked away our thief in detention, we have no hope of getting back the Stick of Truth. We have to break him out. Ah! No way, ma'am! Last time we broke Craig out of detention, we all got in trouble! Getting into trouble is a risk that Douchebag is willing to take! You have to break out our thief, Douchebag. But don't worry, I will not let you go unprepared. I'm going to teach you how to use magic. Meet me at the training barracks. It's time for you to learn Dragon Shout. Welcome to our base. All are welcome here, even those with chronic medical conditions. Just because someone has diabetes doesn't mean they can't be a productive member of society. Princess Kenny says she may be a beautiful seductress, but she can fight too. My job is to clean up all the cat poop. The Grand Wizard would hold snacks if we talk off script. Stick to your lines. No talking, Scott. <laughs> what, you... you want me to fight with you? Okay, this paladin is ready to kick some ass. At first, I didn't want to join the KKK at all, but the Grand Wizard made some really good points. At first, I didn't want to join the KKK at all, but the Grand Wizard made some really good points. Can't talk! Need to practice! Ah! Can't talk! Need to practice! Ah! You fight well, douchebag, but to truly succeed in combat, you must learn to harness the power of your fight. Farting on an opponent at precisely the right time is key to battle. I shall show you how it's done, but first, you must take the gentleman's oath. You must promise to never ever fart on anyone's bows, okay? Farting on an opponent is necessary, but farting on someone's bows is not cool. Do you understand? All right, then let's begin your training. To conjure dragon shouts, you must first clear your mind and take in a deep breath through your butthole, like so. Hey, then let it rumble inside you and dragon shout. I'll show you one more time. Suck it in, let it rumble, dragon shout. Now you. Ready? Dragon shout! Find the frequency! Hold! Hold! You don't need to hold it in, dude. You're not some chick at a party. I'll show you one more time. Suck it in. Let it rumble. Dragon shout! Now you. Ready? Dragon shout! 
Find the frequency. Hold. Hold. My God, that was incredible. A man could live a hundred years and never again witness a spell so boisterous. Could it be that the prophecies are true? Could it be that the dragonborn has come at last in our hour of need? Now let us try your skill on a real opponent. Hey, hey, Princess Kenny. <laughs> could you come here a sec? <laughs> Shh, don't tell him. Okay, just real quick, Princess Kenny. Sir Douchebag wants to show you something. All right, you two. Spar! Sir Douchebag, show Princess Kenny the magical powers I have taught you. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious! <laughs> Dude, that was fucking awesome! <laughs> oh, okay, good job, Sir Douchebag. That was sweet. Thanks, Princess Kenny. That's all for now. <laughs> okay, okay, but dude, seriously, remember, don't ever do that on someone's boss, okay? Seriously. You have mastered dragon shafts. From now on, it will be easier for you. Kenny will assist you on your quest, douchebag. Now go get Craig while I rest and relax upon my throne. Need to practice! Ah! I'm counting on you. Get Craig back here alive. I'm counting on you. Get Craig back here alive. There's this cool old dude who sells clothes on the other side of town. Enjoy your popularity and 1.9 children in your 401k, conformist. Find your own pit of despair, God. There's this cool old dude who sells clothes on the other side of- Enjoy your popularity and 1.9 children in your oh, 401k, conformist. Oh what goth kid walks around in those clothes? Oh please, what goth kid walks around in those clothes? Oh please, what goth kid walks around in those clothes? We don't hang with Go get the stuff to look like we do. Go conform somewhere else, kid. We don't hang with conformists. Go get the stuff to look like we do. Go conform somewhere else, kid. I see you only Duff and Decay. You are a rotting corpse to me. We are all dying from the moment we are born. I see you only Duff and we are all dying from the moment we are born. Craig, Craig, this is detention, okay? Stop looking at your watch because you're here for three hours, buddy, okay? Whatever. Now don't think your friends are gonna come bust you out this time, Craig. My name is Feldspar and I'm a level six thief and the humans will soon rescue me from this tower. No, your name is fucking Craig Tucker and you're in detention. Now start doing your homework. Okay, I've got all the doors sealed and I've got hallway monitors working overtime. Nobody's gonna save your ass today, Craig, okay? Excuse me, but school is out, and no students allowed on the premises until tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. You are in reach of school law and must be punished! The hammer of justice shall strike the nail of evil into the board of being sorry! Let's see what you've got. Oh, God damn it! Here they come. They're gonna get you, Craig! You're not getting out of detention! I'll be out of here in ten minutes.
Careful, douchebag. This dungeon holds many secrets. For centuries, these halls went unmonitored. But then the evil overlord Mackie rose an army of gingers to protect his precious after-school detention. Now these minions lurk the halls, terrorizing and suspending the innocent. Making brownies. You're not gonna get through this door, okay? You might as well give up because I've hidden the key somewhere and you'll never find it in my office. Oh, damn it. Okay. Keys in his office. Legend says there's a sixth grader hall monitor who has a zillion freckles and a clipboard made of human bone. They say he has a freckle for each kid he's suspended. Dungeons even have these kind of stupid rooms where there's nothing to do. Why, that'd just be silly. Hey, Ginger, your hearts are as black as your noses are brown. You can take the brass key from my cold, dead hands. Key from my cold dead hands. Intruder alert! I've killed way bigger guys than you. Well, the new kid has. Ah. By the hammer of butters! <laughs> that was the most perfect throw I've ever seen. Another victory for the good game! More 
officers down. We're taking heavy casualties out here. Damn it, you hallway monitors need to stop playing around. He's got the brass key. He's some kind of dragonborn. Now look, this is detention time. Not time to play Dungeons and Dragons. And besides, he's never going to get inside here because to open the door, you need the gold key. And the only way to get the gold key is by getting the silver key. Okay, which even if he has the brass key, he still hasn't made it past the boss level. Okay. You found the brass key. He's here, guard the key! School's locked down, you failed! Forget uh. the key, protect the front lines! Well, lucky there was a box of fireworks just sitting there. Intruder alert! Ow! I'm taking fire! I'm Butters the Merciful of the... Well, of the Knights of Ken Hardenish. We're overrun! By the hammer of Butters! Well, I'm sorry. Can't you talk? Your word is the command, my lord. Don't be afraid to ask for help from your friends. Don't be afraid to ask for help from your friends. Yes, sir. Pat, pat, nice. Now that feels better, doesn't it? Thanks. I thought I was a goner. There were too many of them. They were too strong. Their hair, too red. Maybe you could take the silver key and find the gold key. You could succeed where I have failed. Free Mackie's prisoners! I sure hope the gold key is in there, or else the quest for the silver key has been all for nothing. Be careful, douchebag. This is Mackie's lair. One wrong step and we could end up in detention. The gold key. No human has ever laid hands on it before. Let's hope it holds the power to unlock the cafeteria door. That's far enough, intruder. Where's your hall pass? No hall pass? Then it's time to write you a referral. Oh yeah, that's the boss. Good luck fighting the boss, okay? You still think this is a game, young man? Deadly Forth is authorized. Arr! Take 
there, you straight! <laughs> ah. This is going on your permanent record. Thanks for busting me out, kid. Who are you? What's your name? Oh well, I'm heading to Koopa Keep. See you there, I guess. I hope you're not playing that dumb game with everyone. <laughs> I failed. I'm a big failure. <laughs> 